Alright, hello everybody and welcome to another Elevator Parts video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Kone M-Series button. So let's take a closer look at the front of the button. Here at the top, you can see it says Kone, because obviously it's a Kone. We've got the little red light here in the middle, which obviously lights up red. And then we've got the button, which presses, and it doesn't press very much. And here it only presses in a little bit. It's got the little green border around the side, and then on the middle, it's the black portion, which this one you can see has seen the better days. It's pretty scratched up, but other than that, that's all there is to it. Now if we turn it to the back, you can see there's not a whole lot here to see. We've got two of these kind of black brackets that hold the circuit boards down, and that's pretty much all we can see. So in order to take a closer look at this button, we need to take these black brackets off. Once you take the little nuts off on either side, these little black brackets can come off. There's these little washers as well. Here's what the bracket looks like. So this here is the circuit board for the call button. Let's go ahead and take the other one off. And here's the circuit board for the light. Now underneath, we have the little piece for the light, the little red filter part. And then we have the button. And here's the button. So this is what an M-Series button looks like without anything behind it. It's just this flat little piece of plastic. It's got this little kind of foamish ring on the back. And then the actual black bit here, the little button portion, is a sticker that sticks on top. And then here is the plate without any buttons on it. So you can see it could be easily switched out with two buttons. And there's what the back looks like. Now next here we have the two circuit boards. So we'll take a closer look at the light one first. Here on the back it says Kone, 24 volts. And you can see the two pins right there, which is how we hook it up. And on the front we have a resistor on the left side, which is important, we'll be looking at that again later. We've got a few diodes on the other side. And then underneath this red thing are the LEDs, and I think there's four of them, either four or five LEDs underneath. Now this is the circuit board for the actual button. Now this one has a few more ports here. See it's got a, like almost like an H, an E, a TX, and you'll notice that the E's and TX's are connected together and there's only one of the H pin. We've also got more diodes on this side, big fat resistor there, and it says Kone on the board. Now on the front side we have the actual button portion. So the button portion is this big bit in the middle. You can see I can press down on it and it clicks. And then the LEDs are underneath this little cover. It's almost like a little plastic cover that is glued down on the middle. So you can't really do a whole lot more work on these circuit boards. You can't really break them down anymore without really breaking the button. But it's kind of interesting to see how these work. So now that we have the button taken apart, let's do a little bit of work on it. There's not really a whole lot we can do, except uh, we're going to clean this up a little bit. Make this shine a little bit better because it's kind of dirty. Got a lot of fingerprints on it. It's not too much paint around the edges, so we won't really worry about that but we can definitely make this thing look a little bit nicer. All right, you can see here that the panel is a lot shinier and a lot cleaner. Looks a lot better. Now obviously there's scratches and such on it, but we can't really do a whole lot about that. So the next thing we're going to do is do a little bit of work on our circuit boards, because one of the things I'd like to do with this panel is be able to run it off a nine volt battery. Now if we take a look on here, we've got this very large resistor, and this is what actually allows us to be able to run 24 volts on here. So what we're going to do is add a very small resistor right here in parallel with the other one, so that we can make an equivalent resistance that's actually a bit lower, so we can run the nine volt battery. So I need to do this on both boards. We're gonna add this resistor here and then on this board another one right here. All right, so I've added the little resistors onto these boards and now we are ready to put them back on the panel. The next step in the project is to wire it. Now we're going to be making some of these custom little wires to clip on to the pins and cook it all up so when you press the button both of the lights turn on. Right, you can see here that the button is completely wired and when we give it a press you can see both of the lights turn on both the green light around the button and then the red light up here and this looks really awesome all right and that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed taking a closer look at kone m series kind of seeing how it works and wiring it up now obviously this wiring would have been a lot easier if we were going to power it with 24 volts but since we're going to run it with a battery we had to make a slight modification to the circuit board and i think it works great so anyway thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one